morning everybody. Hello, my name is Hope and I'm Acetaholic and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're not new, say it with me. Hello, my, my name, name is... And I'm Acetaholic. Okay. So today, I'm back in my window garden. And remember, up here, there are no lights, it's just sunlight. So, for those of you who are apartment dwellers or don't have a big space to garden, just a window will do. I'm fortunate that I have a pretty big window, but there's a good size overhang of about two, maybe even two and a half feet over here, so I'll, it's just ambient sunlight. But my tools today are my um, salad spinner. I figure all my lettuce is going to end up here anyway, so I'm going to have this as my harvest basket. I have water in this to water the window garden. Scissors, because I'm going to harvest. I have a pencil to use as a dibber because I'm going to plant some more things in the couple pots that you see along here that are empty. So, we're going to start with this Jabusik lettuce. I didn't thin it intentionally because we were just eating this as baby leaves. You think a salad today for lunch, hon? Mm -hmm. And I think we have a couple of store-bought cucumbers. We live in Chicago, so we don't have any cukes ready yet. And maybe I'll grab some tomatoes. So like a bowl haircut, you're just trimming around the, the frame? Pretty much, so that I don't um, um, pull any of the plants out. I don't want to kill them. I want them to come back. This is our third salad from this lettuce so far, from this pot. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a haircut to give us enough to eat. And this is just one. Do uh, I got this pot at Meyers. Um, last season on clearance for 75 cents so even cheaper than the dollar store so i thought that was a good deal um and it does come with a base this is something he pointed out to me if you're worried it does have a water catchment and you see there's nothing no marks on my wood which is a big deal if you're concerned but we also put these little trays our lids to like dollar store shoe boxes in case they overflow like this one's going to get a haircut too because it's a little longer. Same type of plant? Yeah, this is more Jabusik. I planted a lot of it because it's a nice soft, um, um, it's a um, deer tongue type, but because it's in these little bitty pots, it won't get very big. And they're just in potting soil, and they're growing just fine in my window with minimal light. And then this one is going to get planted up. So I'm just going to harvest real quick. Um, I wanted to show, oh goodness, I think I did that wrong. Let me put this back where it belongs. There's a certain order for me because that's how they fit in my window without making a mess. You see they're all over my table, so I'm going to have to have help getting this into the bowl probably after we're done filming for you guys. But I'm also going to harvest this one. Look at how gorgeous this is. Haven't added any fertilizer, no amendments. This is simply potting soil. That is all it is. That's all it's ever been. You don't have to use the scissors, but because I'm disabled, it's easier for me to do that sometimes. But You're look not at these. Pulling the stalk? No, because I want it to come back again. I'm doing what's called cut and come again. You cut it and let it grow back and get another harvest. The other lettuce is miners? Um, this is miners lettuce, yes. How did you know that? Very good. Look at Aww. you, camera guy. <laughs> and it's a little bit um of a spicier taste, um, almost like a mustardy taste than regular lettuce, but I like it, so we're going to add a few of that too. Cause How do you think it compares bushiness compared to what's growing out in the backyard? Oh, it's definitely not doing as well. I think the nutrients from the earth actually do better, but I wanted to show people, even if they don't have access to land, they can still grow food right in their own windows. So that's what this is about, and here's some arugula also a little spicier. This has had several cuttings because we really like it. It's got a nice nutty flavor. That's why it looks a little sparse because I keep cutting this. As long as it comes back, I'm going to cut it. But here you're cutting the stem. I'm um, a little lower on the stem, but still leaving it, see? Mm -hmm. Leaving at least one leaf on every stem so that it has a chance to photosynthesize, which means take in sunlight and propagate new leaves for us to eat. Then, um, here's some more Jabusik. This one's very well off the plant, but again, 
I'm going to cut the stem a little higher because it's what they're doing now is they're running or bolting. Bolting means they're trying to set speed. Let's take this one. There's some more of those nice big leaves. I don't know exactly which lettuce this is. Looks like some kind of a romaine or leaf. And this is all carrot um, fronds. And I do like this in my salad. So I'm going to take a good hunk of those. Because they need to thin anyway if I'm going to get any carrot out of them. In these little pots. Which I may not. Or I may have never done that before. Oh my goodness. I've got them all over the floor. <sighs> well. They're all going to get washed anyways. And I'm going to move forward you guys. Because the next thing I'm going to do. Is water some stuff. They all need a little bit of a drink. Oh, I need more water than this. I'm going to get this one wet, which spilled, as you see, because I'm a slob. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why you just see a guy going, ah! But um, what I'm going to do for you real quick is show you what I did the first time I planted these. Mm -hmm. It's not going to move now because it's got water in it, but this is already open. This is um, romaine tricolor blend lettuce. And I'm just going to sprinkle a few seeds on top of the soil. That's all I'm going to do. Nothing scientific or... That's quite a few, I know. Okay. And I'm going to take this pencil and kind of spread them around. Just lightly cover them. And in a few days, I bet we'll have germination. That's all. Just roughing up the soil. And that's it. It's damp. They'll germinate. And if we can get those in that little pot, that'll be pretty. Maybe I'll put a few in the one next to it, because there's only the one plant in there. Yeah, you can, I was going to ask if you can uh, add seed to your sparse pots. Uh, you do like the uh, sprouts. I do. Those are edible. Yep, the um, baby leaves are very tasty. They're tender, they're delicious. Why not? Um, that one needs a little water to get some help in there. Get some friends in there. Save some of the water for your second pot. Yeah. That you're planning. Yeah. And I will get you more off camera. All right. And um, I'm just gonna see if I can do a little. Oh, there we go. That worked. can't hurt. If they'll grow, why not? We gotta eat. We never stop eating, so they need to not stop growing. <laughs> so, just wanted to show you guys, once again, these are these little bitty pots are dollar store pots, guys. So, if you're wondering where the pretty little colors came from, these are all um, dollar store. These were all, um, this is dollar store too. So, there's big ones at the dollar store. These little bitty ones, I just like the bright, pretty colors, so I use those. Um, I started my peas that are outside in these, and once the peas came out and got transplanted, I said, okay, I got a window started, a window garden started, and I can always use more food because there's four of us that live here, and everybody, e even picky uh, camera girl, will eat lettuce. So, out of my window, you're seeing I'm getting almost a full um, salad spinner, full harvest of lettuce right out of my front window. So about two servings of lettuce there or three? Um, we'll probably have to add a little stuff from the backyard, but, per you know. Color. But yeah. you've got enough nutrient there for two meals? Mm, for me it'd be one, but if I, people eat with me, I'll have to s s uh, spread it a little. <laughs> it's bigger than Olive Garden. Well, i got to add stuff to it, too. Okay, so this water is sitting a little bit on the top, so we're going to take... What does that tell you? Um, that means it's not, it's too dense a little bit. So I'm going to mix, I'm going to rough it up a little bit more with the pencil this time. And let the water soak in. It's too dry, that's probably why nothing germinated in here. It's very dry soil. So I'm going to soak it good and then I'll... So who else do you have in the window? Um... It's all lettuce and ca carrots. That's it. Oh, this guy is a, a blend. Oh my gosh, that's very dry. Um, it's just a musclin mix. It's got mustard and lettuce and I don't know what in there. And I think what I'll do to bulk this particular salad out is the kale is 
perfect to harvest right now in the backyard, so I'm going to go out in the back and pick some kale. And out front, the bok choy bolted, so maybe I'll add that as well. Is that the stump? The stump garden, yep. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> I was just trying to show people, use what you got. And that's what I had. Where's my pencil, though? So I'm going to spread this lettuce seed around a little bit again and see if we can get this to germinate. But what I'm going to do now is move it to pride of place over here so it gets more sun because that's a good light window. I'm going to do the same with this one. We're going to get it into a better spot for light. And then we're going to go add some stuff to our salad and we're going to eat, you guys. So thanks for watching. Hope everybody's staying safe, being positive. And remember, you can grow food in a window if you don't have anywhere else. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Share this with other people who might be in your situation that might not have access to anything else for growing. So, blessings of bounty and may your garden and your lives always bring you blessings of joy, inspiration, and most of all, abundance. See you guys next time. God bless.